So now we get ready to, to march and to stand up. Let, let me say this. The last person way in the back with the green hard hat. Put your hand up. Way in the back. Right there, you my brother. Right there with the glasses. Put your hand up. That's it. Well, hold on, hold on. This him, this him, this him. Right now, me and you on, 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 are holding up on each side of this mass of people. And right now, in between us, is a generation, in my opinion, that's more important than Abby Hoffman and Dr. King and Fannie Lou and all of them. Right now, because in between our hands is a generation that's not like the 20th century fighting for equality. Because you can see by this that it's black and it's white and it's brown and it's yellow and it's red and it's male and it's female and it's straight and it's gay. planet we're fighting for. Yeah! And so I want you to hear you say one planet, one voice. 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 in D.C. because we are equidistant from the White House over there and the U.S. Chamber of Commerce over there. These are two of the most powerful buildings in this town and sometimes it's hard to tell which one is the more powerful. We can win this fight, but we got to make the fight on every front at the White House, at Congress, and at the Chamber of Commerce. I got to tell you guys, I got to tell you guys, this is the peak moment of the climate movement. Right today, now, there is more energy. more energy, there is more power here yeah. than there's ever been before. And now, and now, and now, we need you to take that power home and multiply it all across this country, and if you do, then we are going to win this fight. Thank you so much. Raise a little hell. My name's Rich Trumpkin. I'm president of the AFL-CIO. Twelve and a half million men and women strong. And I wish you were up here with me because this is an incredible sight. Because you are what democracy looks like. You are what activism looks like. And you're fighting on the front lines, and because of what you're doing, I have tremendous hope for our future. Thank you for everything. Now, I'm proud to be speaking on 12 and a half million men and women of the AFL-CIO. And I want you to know that we are ready to be your partner in building a better America today, tomorrow, next week, and for as long as it takes.
Chamber of Commerce. And where there are billionaires, there are dollars. Billions and billions of petty dollars. Thank you. 